Hi guys, Mr. Ruffluffles here. My voice is just ruined right now. Activision took me to the Black Ops 4 community reveal yesterday, and needless to say, I got pretty excited. Now, just like my reactions to the Nine map and to Voyage of Despair, this video is going to be split into two parts. I'm going to, first of all, show you my full reaction and include the build-up to the trailer for Blood of the Dead which is so exciting that that's actually been announced. And then I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. So I'll sort of explain some of the things that we saw, maybe give you some context from what Jason said to me privately in the press sort of talk and also in the evening later on last night. And then after I've done a little bit of breakdown, I'll play the full unedited raw uncut version of it so you can get it with the proper audio and all that good stuff because I know the audio is a little bit scuffed in the reaction version because I'm obviously recording this massively loud venue so it gets a little distorted. But for now, let's watch the reaction. There is so much more to talk about, and this really is just the beginning. We'll be revealing a lot more later this summer, where we shall share further details of other never before seen goodies on our road to release. Thank you. What? What? Whoa! This is true. You've seen a taster of nine and voids of despair. But that's not all the zombies news we have for you today. What? Stop! Stop! Stop. This fucking yeah. What? We've already said that Black Ops 4 is the deepest, most replayable game in our history. Oh boy. So it's my great pleasure to reveal oh my God. that for the first time ever, we will launch with three fully-fledged, fully-loaded zombies experiences on day one. <laughs> what the f***? What? Wow, there are three maps. Have you seen a taste of what's ahead in our new story? Oh Let's just take a trip back through the ether. Oh. Yes! Oh. Mother of the Dead! One of our all-time <laughs> fan favorite maps. Oh. Oh my God. Told the story of four lost souls trapped oh. in an eternal purgatory. Yes! Desperate to break the cycle. Oh my god. god. Here's a small peak. No. Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Holy god. Holy god. Holy god. Okay, so there's sort of loads to talk about here. I want to be quite specific about the things that I do cover in this video, though. The blood vials are not something I want to talk about right now. That is going to be a separate video because it's a much bigger topic, okay? We'll come back to the blood vials. The next thing I want to talk about is just the fact that it's premise, really. I mean, everyone, everyone and their dog was predicting that this would be a Victus map. This would be the transit crew, and the kind of chronology would go something like this. The transit crew go through the events of the Zombies comic. They go on this quest for Rictophon, and they secure the Cronorium for him by visiting the empty earth, having been to Broken Arrow, and stuff like that. Now, the Victus crew end up in a laboratory underneath Mob of the Dead. 
that's where they actually end up. That's where they kind of remain. It says that in the timeline. That's where they are held, okay? And that laboratory was built by Richterfen with the help of the Illuminati and the Stanley Ferguson and those sorts of entities in that sort of part of the zombie story, the Ether story. And Victus were then just left there. And at the end of the comic, Richterfen says, don't worry, just like the children, hey, hey, they'll be safe, okay? They are safe just in their little containment pods, kind of like the things that we saw Dempsey in, in Der Eisendracher. It's that kind of deal. They're just trapped down there, ready to be freed and released and woken up at some point. Now, the question is, why then are we playing as Primus in this map and not Victus? Wouldn't it make a lot of sense for Victus to just bust out of their containment fields and be like, sup dude, how's it going? It's been a while, let's kill some zombies. I guess what they're trying to do here, and this will link in with the Blood Vials video, don't worry, but it seems like we're actually going to have a direct meeting of the Victus characters and the entire Primus crew. And that's really exciting, because we know that Richtofen has interfaced with them a bunch, but depending on where we are in his history, he may not have actually met them yet in this map. Like, it might be one of those weird scenarios where we go there too early, something like that. Similarly, it might be that he has met them, but the other three characters won't have done, and so that's going to be a cool kind of interaction. And it makes me think, are Victus going to be the point of the Easter egg? Are we going to kill them once and for all by doing the egg in that map? I mean, think about it, right? The Transit crew were originally assumed to have been killed off in Buried. People thought that when you go to Round Infinity and they're dead on the floor, that means that they're all dead. Unfortunately, for some, it turns out that they are very much still alive, and so maybe this will be the point where Jason finally gives us some closure and says, okay, now they are dead. However, I don't think that's the way it's going to be, because I think that the amount of energy they invested into those characters in the comic means that there's a good chance that, even though it's not going to happen in this map, we do see them appearing as playable characters in the future. I think that there is more to that group than currently maybe meets the eye. I mean, Primus is a named group in Zombies, and there are not many named groups. Victus being a named group is kind of a big deal. So I do suspect that we'll see them more as the DLC season goes on. Now, Jason hasn't confirmed anything about the DLC season just yet. He's actually been really cagey with details. But one thing I can say is that it almost seems, seeing as they're giving us three maps on launch and there's no campaign, it almost seems like there's a chance we would get a Primus map in DLC and a map in this new, completely separate timeline that they're doing with these new characters that we saw in Nine and in Voyage. That's really, really exciting. I mean, the prospect of having three maps on launch and then another eight maps, that is a really incredible prospect, and I think that would mean that the story they'd be able to tell would be so much better, especially if they're going to pull the premise universe and this new universe together and make some kind of mishmash at the end of it all and have like a collision of the worlds. Having more maps would make that such a better story, like it just would do. They'd have so much more nuance to it. They'd have to put less info in ciphers and all that sort of thing. One other thing that I want to say about Blood is that it's a different floor plan that's confirmed. There are areas of blood that you can access that you can't access in Mob of the Dead. And also, Jason, if you're watching this, this is your perfect opportunity to give us a new cipher, a new ADFGX specifically, with the same key and same Polybius square. Hell, forget the same key, just the same Polybius square as the old cipher. Okay? Give us a leg up and give us something to work with to help solve that original ADFGX, which at this point is like 1200 days unsolved from Mob of the Dead. Please. Thank you. So, I think at this point I'm going to save the rest of my breakdown and analysis for future videos, such as the one about the blood vials. From here, I'll just play the raw, uncut, unedited version of the trailer. Hopefully you have enjoyed this with a little bit of my discussion, the build-up, the reaction, and now the trailer itself. If you have, then please drop a like on the video, and I'll see you very soon for more Black Ops 4 Zombies content.